it is the most um, equality and equity driven healthcare service in the world. It is the pride of Britain and we do have a Tory government but it is still the pride of Britain and it is a socialist concept and I think it just provides so much hope. I was born in 1648 and I was one of the first people to be in the National Health Service. In my day I was confident that I could just go around to the doctors and get help. That was not just in the rich areas either. Whilst I want the National Health Service to be able to help as many people as possible, I sadly feel that it could well be depleted a lot. Um, and it's one of those things that I don't like to think about. The National Health Service is based on the principle that people can access you know, all different types of um, healthcare, essentially. Though we pay for it through our taxes, we don't have to pay for it when we need a hospital appointment or need to go to the doctor. One of the main principles is that it doesn't matter what your income is, it doesn't matter how much you can afford in, in general life, you're always going to have that healthcare available to you and that's being taken away from us. The more private companies get involved, the more that money is distributed to places that is not healthcare related. It's profit over people, if you want to put it in you know, a jazzy statement, but that's what's happening. And when something is run for profit, of course they're going to try and cut corners to save money. Of course those corners are going to hurt people, patients. So this month I am working only night shifts and we're always short staffed on nights. Like it's, it's almost a given, you know that it's going to be short staffed and really stressful. Obviously the nature of midwifery and maternity care, once someone is in labour it needs to be one to one care. But sometimes the shifts are so busy that that one to one care is simply not possible or if it is it means that you're working 12 and a half hours flat out with no break you don't have time to go to the loo you don't have time to eat you are there with a woman for 12 and a half hours because there are simply not enough people to cover you while you go for a break so not only does that stress out the midwives that they are not doing their best or their potential best for the people giving birth the people giving birth are not receiving the best care because the midwives simply can't do it. So they will work resenting the thing that they came to loving and now they don't like it and they're literally just staying for the pension. I mean, it's something out of a dystopian film. We've got leaky roofs, hospitals with rooms that are just completely off bounds because nothing works. People are you know, leaving the NHS to work in supermarkets, people are leaving the NHS to work uh, anywhere, anywhere where they don't have to witness the degradation of services, but also the, the really poor state that people are being left in. With policy that it's making it more difficult for people to pass borders and, and move around and, and come to the UK, we are now seeing the impact of that in the NHS. There are so many posts that are just empty. We're seeing so much of our talent leaving and we're seeing so much talent refusing to come here because we're not able to offer. Staff such as myself and you know so much of the clinical staff are immigrants. Without immigration, there'd be no NHS. Um, at the same time, the people who are most affected by crisis, by disease, are 
from those populations. We saw most people who were dying of COVID-19, including staff actually, were from immigrant populations. There are so many reasons for that, not least because they were the people who were being pushed to the front lines. It's our duty to make the world a better place when we die and we, it's passed on to our children. And I, I, that, I go totally along with that. Do you think you are fulfilling that as a society right now? Well, I hope that the NHS develops even more ability to uh, look after people because there's no doubt about it, there are some people that don't manage to get the help. If the NHS is going to survive, they need to respect their staff more, wherever they're from, whether they're migrant or the, from the UK, and they need to be paid the reality of what this life is and the reality of what work they do. As long as there are people to fight for the NHS, there will be an NHS. As long as there are people who believe in humanity who believe in free healthcare at the point of use there will be an NHS but you know in a slightly more cynical tone everybody needs to wake up